I'm your host, Jason Park, and behind me I have a 1993 American LS-swapped Nissan 240SX. That baby's pushing 400 ponies. Okay, Gabe, so tell us about your 240s and what do you have done to it? Uh, what I have not done to it, I mean, uh, <laughs> pretty much everything, uh, it, it all started as a just a simple engine swap. Yep. That was my main goal when I first got the car. And you swapped it too? So I put a LS1 uh, Corvette or earlier Camaro uh, engine in it, it's a 5.7 liter uh, V8, so it's power to weight, I, that's what I wanted. And yeah. I put it on. It's, Fun car. Fun car. Okay, oh, yeah. so what, what what are like the horsepower numbers, the torque, what is it pushing? How does it feel when you drive it? Oh, I mean, it's, I have drove a lot of cars because I'm a technician, so I, I have to drive these cars every day. And uh, to these, it's like, I can't compare it to nothing else. I mean, it's just because it's old and power to weight radio and it's making like 400 horsepower to the wheels. It only weight about 2850. Like 2,850 pounds. <laughs> so it, yeah, it's it's a fun car. It's it's, it's I, I can barely tell you or describe how it is because it's, I have to tell people to ride in it and they're like, oh my god, I was not expecting that. Yeah. So, yeah. Would you say that uh, has there been any like reliability issues, any weirdness to it? Uh, reliability uh, for the car, it's been a 30 year old car. That's as reliable as it's gonna get. I mean, the only issue that I ever had with the engine was what the. Um, the roller rockers were eating the valve tips because the cam is really aggressive so got it i don't know how long it was running like that but it, that's the only after that it's been good and you you uh uh you hand built this car and you did all the work yourself right you're everything, a true tuner pretty much, i mean yeah uh <laughs> i did everything myself i painted the car i did the engine swap wait you, you painted that too yeah everything that you see in there the only thing that i did not do is the roll cage that one of my friends uh hooked me up with it healed me out and shout out to his homie who hooked him up hey logan <laughs> thank you for that cage though that shit look good yeah yeah i mean it, it's it's really good it's really good uh but yeah everything i have done myself so you did like engine uh uh fabrications you the suspension work what, what suspension do you have on so it? the suspension is the cheapest part of the car right now that's one of them eva coilovers uh everything else is oe like other control arms i bought them oe from uh amazon uh but everything else uh suspension wise like i say uh, ebay coilovers uh i put them as a let me just lower the car for now and i'm gonna get something better later yeah and it turned out that they haven't blown up yet, so I'm like, I'm gonna keep using it until they blow up. Yeah. yeah, you have to. So, uh, yeah, they're still there. Um, so, so, do do the eBay coilovers handle um, the front weight of the LS motor fine? Or so this is the part that most people get wrong. They think because you went from a four cylinder to a V8 that now the car weight used to be like 50, 50 now it's gonna be like really, but it's not because the LS1 is all aluminum. Oh. So when you compare engine to engine, the iron block four cylinder K24 that come in that car versus the LS1 that is aluminum block, aluminum head, it's only like a hundred pounds more. Oh, okay, so it's not, it's not, no. It's no difference at all. Nope. So, so tell us, okay, what have you done transmission wise? The transmission is a T56 six speed from uh, the same a Camaro that. So pretty much how I did the swap, I bought a Camaro that was used for drag racing. Uh, and I just took everything off that I was using for the swap. Okay. The transmission, the guy that after I posed the chassis for the Camaro, um, the guy hit me up because he saw the chassis and he's like, yo, that was my car. And he's telling me everything that he had on the engine and the transmission. So the transmission have a, uh, what's the company? Uh, Tick Performance, I think it is. 
but it's a stage two, so it's supposed to be good for up to like 600 horsepower. Okay. And I have no doubts. I mean, I already blown both axles at the track with slicks. Yeah. And transmission was good, so. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what would you say is like your your greatest memory in this car with the LS swap? What's like the greatest thing? Like I'm talking like, you know, I'm getting on the freeway and a Lamborghini pulls up and I dust them or like like what's the greatest? thing that's happened there is uh, so many I mean it's, it's crazy um, okay list a couple list a couple okay um, after I just did a shoot with a Africa guy yeah I was coming back home or whatever and I see this Camaro with a big differential on it uh, roll cage and everything I was like this guy drag race for sure and I'm just trying to like swim by and you know like give it peace like nice car whatever yeah and he's like not notice it or whatever and i'm like i rev my car so he can see that it's a ls as well and then he was like oh but then he started messing around we start pulling each other and, and we like we took off and he texts me later in instagram he was like yo that's the sleeper of the year and i'm like how is it a sleeper this thing is loud as hell yeah uh, i heard i heard you all the way down there i was like oh he's here it's loud yeah <laughs> it's loud that was one of them uh i have many memories at, at the track I mean, and all that happened in Mexico, by the way. Mexico, when they were playing around, it was in Mexico. The best place to be at. Yeah. Uh, that was one of the places. Uh, let's see, another one. Let's see, let's see, let's see. My, um, some of them are almost barely legal to say. <laughs> it was in Mexico. Uh, yeah. These happened in Mexico, in yeah. dirt roads back in the country. Uh, but yeah, that's one of them. Let me see. Okay, what's the craziest? Like, what's the craziest thing that's happened in it? I... Craziest legal thing. <laughs> yeah, craziest legal thing. I would say at the track, we were at Commerce. Unfortunately, uh, that track is no longer there, no more. Uh, but yeah, so I, I was hoping for like a 10 second. Because I know the car probably could do it, but you got to get it to hook really well. So my friend is like, let's put some slicks on it and let's, let's go. And I was like, let's do that. And I put some slicks on it, we went to the track, and I did one pass. The first time that I can get on that car, like actually get on it, because before I used to go to the track, but the car sleep, it mm -hmm. spin tires, like it doesn't weigh nothing. Yeah. So you couldn't really get on it or you'd be spinning the whole track. Uh, I put the slicks, and all my friends were like, yo, Gay, you ready for that? And I'm like, yeah, man, I've been ready. I've been ready for it. Well, it's first gear, the light pole come on and I just punch it and I was like let me go a little bit before so it won't spin yeah but I noticed that there's no spinning I'm still in first gear so I punch it and it's like bah! and I'm like I was not expecting that it was like no spinning just going just pure grip like crazy yeah. like it will throw you in the seat and I put second gear it will not want to go in wait again I missed second and I missed third and the car still did like 12 seconds the quarter mile missing two years that's crazy so the second pass i was like man I, I was not expecting that i'm definitely gonna launch it this time and uh yeah that's when i blew my both axles <laughs> <laughs> both axles went clink clink you know it, gone. they always say when the car's running like for some reason like at its peak something's about, something's to, happen. about to happen yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah so it did i mean it blew, it blew both axles uh clean up let me let me ask you this if somebody was like yo gabe i want to get a 240 what would be your advice to them like let's say you were starting over right and you were like your your 18 20 year old self and you were looking to buy a 240 what advice would you give them like what would you do so a lot of people get uh discouraged when they start building something i noticed that because i have done it myself i have so many cars i used to trade cars like almost every year uh, you start something and then you see something else that you like and you're like, eh, I'm not gonna finish this. I'm gonna go with something else. And that's why most people don't ever finish their build cars. Yeah. Because they don't really give the 100 to them. But once you give the 100 to that car and you finish it, it's like almost impossible to get rid of it. Yeah, because it, it's a part of your story, right? It's a part story, of you, you right? spend yeah. time of it, you spend uh, money on it, and it's like you remember all the things that you've done to the car, and it's like, I can't I can't get rid of it now. It's, it's just something else for me. Yeah, yeah, this is you. This this is an expression of you. Pretty much, yeah. and I, 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 what I'm saying about the discouragement is because when I first got it, it did not look anything like that. I mean, it was a 
regular 240 it has some really ugly wheels by the way and my friend can tell you about that story because he was like the, when we went to buy it the, the owner was like oh these ones right here they're custom so you don't have to worry about that and i'm just looking at my friend like this is the first thing that is gonna go away but uh yeah i drove the car like that and it was really ugly car yeah but i already knew what i wanted with the car so i didn't i didn't i'm not gonna get discouraged i'm gonna drive the car and you, you gotta do step by step you yeah mean, you know unless you got the money you can go and spend forty thousand dollars hey build me this this is how i want it and they do it for you but if yeah. you don't you gotta go step by step so let, let me ask you this um why did you go ls swap compared to like a srt20 or you know like why did you go this route compared to any other motor so this is my third 240SX. My first two, they had SR20s on it and I build them and they're fun and they're reliable if you build them right. But I just wanted something different. You wanted more power, want baby. more power, baby. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's hard to explain because uh, you can make good power out of four cylinder turbo, but it does not feel the same as a NA. I mean, it's just instant torque pretty much you know it's crazy that makes a lot of sense because like one of the big reasons why i bought so i sold my s2000 and then i bought the 2014 bk2 hyundai genesis coupe yeah the whole reason why i went with the 2.0 turbo over the 3.8 was because i wanted to hear the turbo noises yeah. <laughs> I, I love the turbo noises but yeah. the way that they handle uh, the, the power band comes with a different rpm yeah uh on a turbo car normally you have lag and you have to wait a little bit until you start going oh this is fast yeah on this car, uh, you drive it, you can see it. I mean, it's the like, moment you, tap you just it. tap it and you're like going, going, going. And it's just, it's something else. Yeah, no, I bet. Well, thank you, Gabe, for sharing your car with us. No worries. Now we are about to go into a quick review of Gabe's LS Swap Nissan 240SX. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, there you go. Okay, so this this is real light. Neutral. Okay, neutral's high. First gear. Ooh, I like this. Hey, hey, yo. It's a little wild. I can feel that. So, let me roll up my window. All right, so guys, I feel like I am in a drifting missile. I feel like the clutch is super heavy. Uh, I feel like if I were to floor this thing, which I will not, because you guys all know I am scared of high horsepower vehicles. I have a wife and child to get home to. But I feel like this car, the moment you sit in it, the moment you strap in it, it feels like it's ready to go. Like it's, it's, it's ready to just take off. You hear the rumbles. It's kind of like a an Atmos surround sound theater in here of just pure exhaust. Yes, I am excited. I am thoroughly excited. Thank you, Gabe, for letting me drive this bad boy. Uh, the interior in here is very uh, minimal, which as a car guy, I like. You don't have anything fancy. Ooh, look at that, look at that smooth smooth little takeoff this literally just feels like demons are just fighting like the moment you start like tapping on the gas it's like Rrr. man this this puts a fearful smile on my face and we haven't even gone anywhere yet Okay, so you got the barbels. You got that blah, 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 blah. every time you shift, you can you can hear it, right? Man, let me ask you this: Do you drive this car often? Yeah. You're a brave man. Yeah. <laughs> you are you are an absolutely a brave man because when they talk about feelings in cars, and you hear like, oh, this car is numb. The new cars are too soft. 
in this car, it's theatrics every day. This, is, this used to be my daily. Used to be a daily? This used to be my daily. Oh my gosh, you're, you're, you're a very brave man. Man, it, it feels like there's just so much room to go in that power bed. It shifts very smooth. I like how you have the shifter up high like this. It goes into gear just perfectly smooth. This goes into gear a lot better than my Genesis Coupe. Nah, and there's no way. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, it goes into gear a lot better and a lot smoother than my Genesis Coupe. So you get the theatrics of the sounds, you get the 90s rattle, you feel the, the, the demon arguments behind you of the car just, just fighting and, and letting the world know that it's here. Like, I've never driven a Japanese spec car that was LS swapped. I, 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 this is my first time. And I've always wanted to swap an RX-8 with an LS motor. After feeling the 240 with all this increase in power and low end torque on a 90s Japanese chassis that's super lightweight, sometime in my lifetime, I'm gonna do an LS swap. It, it, it feels like a monster. Like you feel like you're controlling a road dragon. This, this is the epitome of like American muscle, but we're in a 240. Pretty much. It depends on both worlds. That's exactly what it is. You get, no evil. You, you get the JDM worlds. styling, right? You get the beautiful 240 chassis, and then you get that American LS power. For, you don't need more than 400 horses in this car. I can tell you that. It's a world of this, so it's pretty much. Oh, oh, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. And you know what? It's after you've driven it like a block or two. I like that. I like that. That's very smooth delivery. You go up to like 6,500 and you're welcome to. Uh, nah, nah, nah. I'm, you just suspect that it's gonna be stale because it's very yeah. light. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. Let me tell you guys. So just now, you, you okay, so you can feel everything, the car's going, the car's moving. I literally shifted at 3,500 RPM every time, and it had so much go at 3,500 RPM. For me, as a reviewer, there was no need for me to go 6,500 RPM. The only way I would possibly do that is if we were like at an airstrip and it was just open, because I don't know the car the way you do, so my confidence, isn't quite there but yeah this this feels good i like this there, I, I, I tell people there's no way how, how can i explain that with words other than you being in the car yeah exactly okay it's giving me a green light okay yeah this feels this feels wild it 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 it, it feels wild but it's it's such a weird thing because it's it's so easy to drive, right? Like this is my first time driving it and I'm driving it just fine. And there's so much power, but it's so easy to get it. It's, I don't know, it's an old car. I tell people all the time, I, I like old cars and it's an old car, so it still feels like an old car. Yeah. But it have a newer engine, yeah. more powerful, yeah. it's still light. Yeah. So it's like, it's really hard to describe. Uh, it, it, you know what? It's like 90% monster and 10%. Like, it's like 90% beauty, 10% beast. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Reverse. Reverse. 90% beast, 10% uh, beauty. It's, it's like the way you built it is it, so good where you didn't numb anything, but to get to where you're trying to get to is easy. Oh yeah, 
Oh yeah. So when you drive this car and you get on it a little bit, it takes, you have to focus. You have to focus on the road. You can't pay attention to anything else. This is one of those cars where you're not gonna be texting and driving. There's just no way. There's just no way. The alignment on the car is great. I don't even have my hands on the steering wheel and it's going straight. Let me tell you guys something really quick. Anytime someone modifies their car the way that this car is modified, it rarely ever operates in the way that this operates outside of the beginning starting issue, right? Outside of that. But the way it goes in the gear, the way it delivers the power, um, everything is is there typically when you go into motor swaps and you go into things there's always these weird quirks and things that go wrong with it but with this car it's, i can see how you daily drove it it's, it's, it's pretty much like a factory car other than it doesn't have the same engine no more i can see that i can see that with a with a stiffer suspension it's stiffer suspension is stiffer uh it's, it's a little bit lower on the ground but these, i mean everything else is yeah, these eBay coilovers are great. That's why I haven't changed it. I mean, everybody will blame me for these, but I'm like, dude, they, they haven't blown up yet. I mean, what do you want me to do? They're good. I mean, I like it. The eBay coilovers are great. I don't ever feel like I'm going to lose control. Like, I feel like just from driving it there and back, I kind of got a sense of, like, how I can throttle it and how I can give it gas yeah. and be safe while still having the thrills of that LS power. That's it. Time for a little POV action. Leo, get the door. Got it. Sometimes you have to become the monster to save the one you love. Your mother's labs came back in. The cancer is spreading fast. She does need surgery. Um, without that payment, tomorrow she's going to be discharged. In two days, we're gonna rob Chino. Come on, Chino! God! Come on, man, I have a family! Don't do this shit, man! I'm 
I mean, there's got to be another way. There is no other way, Leo. If we don't rob Chino right now, my oh, mom so is as good as dead. I'm a dog, man.